cleaning. I mean the stuff you never think about, the cracks and crevices of your remote, your steering wheel. Ariel Wessler talks to the queen of clean to find out when and how we should be washing the random things that we touch in a day on your to-do list. There are plenty of things in your home that can't wait for spring cleaning. Linda Cobb, the queen of clean, gives us the dirt. First up, your remote. I was shocked at how much wing sauce was on my remote when I really looked at it because my husband eats those and, and watches TV. So what you want to do is just use a soft toothbrush. Then we're going to dip that brush into just some rubbing alcohol and then just start and rub. Every couple of weeks, even once a month, is good with this. And let it dry for a little while before you use it again to turn the TV on. Next, your jeans. Well, the biggest argument everybody has is how often do you clean them? I mean, when was the last time you cleaned yours? Uh, last week. Is that okay, <laughs> that's okay. But you know, you want to clean them about every four to six times you wear them. Just use a mild, gentle detergent on cold water on a low cycle. The secret to jeans, though, is in the drying. First of all, fold them and lay them flat and right into the dryer like that. Then when they go around, they go around this way instead of getting all mangled up and messed up. It's definitely a low dry setting. Dry them till they're almost dry, take them out, smooth them down, hang them up. And that's the secret to doing jeans. Then your steering wheel. <laughs> Now I'm sitting in a car in the garage. What are we cleaning here? When was the last time you cleaned the steering wheel on your car? I don't remember. See? <laughs> this one I like to say you should do every couple of weeks every month. Just take this paper towel and I have 50% water, 50% rubbing alcohol on okay. it, and just start and wipe. All that was on the steering wheel. That is disgusting. When and how to clean your everything on the to-do list.